Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Guys, really good to have so many of you on board, man. Um, getting so many emails, so many of you guys mess messaging me on the old Snapchat. Getting so much love out here, man. Tons of you lot saying that you're really feeling the videos, that you're big fans, that you watch my videos like two or three times. Every day watching it, I can't believe it guys, absolutely amazing. Like, I'm getting something like 50, 60 messages a day on the Snapchat, man. I'm really trying to message all of you back on the Snapchat as well. So I don't want to leave any of you out, because the way I look at it is like this. If you guys are supporting me, then it's my duty to say a big thanks to all of you, because it's because of you guys that I've been pushing me forward to do this. So I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys, yeah? And again, if you ain't on the old Snapchat, guys, I wasn't on Snapchat before. It's only when some of you lot were saying, yeah, mate, why don't you jump on the old Snapchat? So I jumped on it. And now I'm on there guys and so many of you are getting in contact with me and sending me pictures of your fits, what you guys are doing, asking me questions and I love it guys, absolutely wicked. So guys, if you're not on the old Snapchat, jump on there, um, add me on there, it's Jet Set Jones, okay guys, Jet Set Jones. And for those of you who don't want to jump on there, you can always email or leave your comments in the comments box below, okay? So, so much love out there guys, so much love, I'm really liking it and if you like what I'm doing, hit that like key guys, okay? And for all you newbies, man, welcome on board, guys. Welcome to the Hoxton Trend. We're doing all types of crazy reviews here, guys. All types of guides, all types of videos. You've seen the videos that I've been putting out. I've been putting out so much stuff, guys, okay? So I hope you guys are feeling it. But today, guys, what I'm going to do real quick for you, and so many of you have been asking me for this, guys. So many people have been asking for this. You've been asking for a fake versus real Stone Island, guys. I know a lot of you have been saying, you're really feeling the Montclair fake versus real, but you want to see some Stone Island. So bam guys, got some Stone Island right here. Look, got this greasy, horrible Stone Island right here. Don't even really want to touch it too much, but it's definitely a fake, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to spot them, okay? No problem, guys. Give me two seconds to prep myself up. Catch in a bit. So guys man, I haven't even really got a lot of Stone Island jackets left guys uh, Most of the jackets that I've got in, even the ones for myself, I've gone and sold them guys, okay? So one of the ones that I've still got left is this um, I've got this really really cool uh, Garment dyed, garment dyed, crinkle reps NY down jacket guys And if you look back a couple of videos, i actually done a review on this Really really cool jacket this one, super warm But to be honest with you guys, I'm actually thinking about selling it real soon Because this one might go real quick, okay But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to use this as a comparison, okay And as we can see, we've got Mr. Hacksaw there He's just about to, he, he was so vexed when he saw this fake He jumped on the bed and he was about to cut up the old jacket But I told him to allow it Listen Mr. Hacksaw, allow the beef man, this jacket's not going to stay here for too long he's gonna go back home okay no need to get all mad on that just chill out for a minute bro you know you just come out from prison we don't want you going back inside okay that's that guys so yeah real quick we're gonna look at this jacket we're gonna see why we know that this is a fake okay bam let's get it in guys let's get it in so one of the first things i noticed well for me personally that i've never seen you know obviously i haven't seen all the stone island jackets but i've never seen this particular star before um, saw it on the old eBay, I said let me get it in, let me see what it's saying I mean at first I thought it was a genuine, but I thought let me just have a closer look So I copped it, but the first thing that I noticed guys is We've got these really crappy zips on them man, look at the zip on there It doesn't say Lampo It doesn't say um, Vizlon, see the newer jackets say Vizlon as you can see on the black one here And the older ones say Lampo on the old style nylon jackets But this one doesn't even say anything guys It's just got some silly old sign on there that says five, so that's where the counterfeiters have just used some standard dead zips. Um, so that's the first thing that I noticed on that one, okay guys, number one. The second thing that I noticed is that they put this stupid badge in there, man, inside the jacket. I mean, I've never ever seen that before. It's so bait. Never, I've never seen this inside like that, man, and this color as well. These badges are meant to be for the Stone Island jackets that are using like, new technology or new innovation within their jackets, okay? So, you wouldn't see this inside there, and if you look on the arm, you see the arm badge, it's got the, the, the normal Stone Island badge, so immediately that raised some kind of um, concerns for me as well, and I thought, mm, that just looks a bit bait, so that wasn't right guys, definitely not right on that one. Um, the other thing as well is that there's no, there's no tags inside here guys, there is no tags at all. 
So within, within all the Stone Island jackets, you're always gonna get your washing instructions and your tags, okay? Like the newer jackets like this, you now get the 30 logo, so it's really helpful to see the 30 logo, okay? Now, some people are saying, oh uh, yeah, the new Stone Island jackets have got the 30 logo, but you know what? I don't think they do, guys. I don't think they've cottoned on to this yet. Stone Island just started this recently, and these counterfeiters, they're a little bit late, so, they're copying stuff from seasons, seasons, seasons ago. You're not going to see Stone Islands in the new, new stuff. So I don't think they do, guys. But if you think they, if you think they are using the 30 logo still on the fakes, send me the links if you're seeing them, guys. Let's investigate. Let's see what they're saying. The older um, Stone Island, if they don't have this, they'll just have some other tags like these, guys. And they'll usually have an art number in there as well. It doesn't seem to be on this jacket but they usually have what they call an art number, okay? And that's like another way for, to help you verify the jacket. But again, even that art number, the counterfeit is, they, they still replicate that sometimes. But the point I'm trying to make is this one doesn't even have any tags in it at all, guys. Nothing at all, no size label, nothing, okay? So that's not very good, not good at all. Um, the other big giveaway as well. The other big giveaway is, as well as, what I've noticed as well guys is Stone Island, the quality of their jackets is really, really good. And what I've noticed with the counterfeits with Stone Island and even Montclair is the material feels a bit bin liner-ish. It's really, really poor. It's really, really crap. If I was to pull that hard enough, I swear I could even rip that man. It's really, really crappy. Not very good at all. Again, all the zips on the jacket should either say Lampo or Vizlon. And if we look on here, they don't say anything, guys. They don't say anything at all. This, I can't even open this one, it's so crap. Look, I'm trying to get in there, but it doesn't say anything on there, guys. Really, really poor indeed, okay? Uh, another big giveaway, guys, is the badge, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this off so we can look at it in more detail. The badge is really crap on this one, guys. No good at all. Right, let's look at these badges. So the top one's the real, the bottom one's the fake. Can you see the stitch in there, guys? And remember, we always talk about that drop stitch that you can see. Can you see that little dot there at the end? We usually see that, guys. And as you can see on these, nothing, okay? And the other thing I've noticed is Stone Island tend to, if you look at the yellow um, stitching around the slit there, it's a little bit bent, guys. It's not straight. It's a little bit bent, almost like it's been hand-stitched, okay? That's just like a higher quality level of stitching. If you look at this, it's perfectly straight, guys. Look at that. It's where the uh, it's where the counterfeiters machinery is just like basic. It's very basic machinery that they're using to do this, guys. It's not state-of-the-art stuff like Stone Island at all. So you can see it's super, super straight. If you see it's super straight like that, guys, and you can see here, this is more of a slit. Can you see? It's more of a slit. And what I mean is it's not, it's just a cut. Whereas this looks more like a, a box shape, okay? It's not a slit at all. Look, I can't put that together and you can still see gaps. Whereas this, as if someone just cut it with a knife, if I put that together, it just closes like that. See that, guys? That's how you know. And if you see like it's more of a box like that, then you know there's a problem there, guys, okay? And if you look at the uh, Stone Island inside, look at the quality of the stitching. It's not good at all, guys. And the other thing as well is you look on the back of this, it's got a really nice type of nylon type pattern. Um, sorry, finish at the back here, guys. And if you look at the back of this, it's just still some type of rough type material. So that's two ways to tell, guys. The badge is very important. But don't get it twisted. Sometimes someone might try and put a real badge on a fake jacket. So one of the other things I'm going to show you real quick is the button studs, okay? Let's have a look at those in more detail. So look at the buttons there, guys. Try and look at the difference. You can see that this original Stone Island here is very nicely engraved, man. Very nicely done. And if you look at the bottom one there, you can see it's not very well done at all. It looks like it's just been penciled in or slightly scratched in. Even if you look at the top of X, X uh, mark on the jacket, you can see that it's like a cross, guys. They, it's meant to be engraved. This is not engraved at all, okay? So that's that. Let's put my badge back on the original jacket. Um, and I've also clocked now why they put this here, guys. A lot of you have been giving suggestions. And I think, to be honest, the reason why they put this here is if you put your jacket up and you put it up somewhere where you're sitting down, you've got your jacket somewhere and you're in a pub or whatever, you can just put that in there, guys, and zip the jacket up so it's a lot harder for people to steal. I think that's one of the main reasons why this is here, guys, is for people who want to steal your badge because you can't get these badges anywhere. As well as that, some people don't like the badge, so they want to take it off and they want to look at it. They want to um, 
keep it somewhere safe and don't want to lose it so they can put it there okay so that's that guys um, also another thing I've noticed as well with the vast majority of the newer Moncler's even ones that are going up to two or three years old they've always got the information on the side there guys which will break down every Thing about the jacket even what materials and technology they're using as you can clearly see here and if we look on this one again nothing there guys okay nothing there at all such a rubbish jacket this one I mean look look at this look at that look how poor that is remember guys these jackets go for like five six seven hundred pounds man Stone Island they do not play games when it comes to their jackets they're not gonna do crappy little things like this guys okay they're not gonna do that this is not Primark man this is not quick stuff and this is just basically rubbish um, what else can we show you anything else that's it really that's it guys those are the main ones for me is the zips the badge the buttons and also there should be a tag in there guys with either the, the, the new QR code or at least a longer tag with the information and the art number, okay? But guys, again, you have to check all these things in conjunction with each other. You just can't go, just because you might see Viz Long Zips doesn't mean the jacket's real. You still need to check everything, okay? So that's that, guys. That's how you can, one of the ways that you can spot a um, Stone Island jacket if it's genuine or not, okay? So I've got another Stone Island jacket in. I'm gonna do a fake versus real. I'm just waiting for some for me to get some more Stone Island stuff in so I can do a really good comparison, okay? So that's that for now. Don't even want that on the bed, man. That can go on the floor. And we've got the real stuff right here, okay? That's that. So guys, I hope that was helpful for you. Leave your comments in the comments box below. If you've got any questions, shout me on the email or shout me on the old Snapchat, okay? That's that for now, guys. I'm feeling what I'm doing. Smack that like key. If you're a newbie and you think what I'm doing is good, you want to see more stuff, smack that subscribe key. And if you've just subscribed, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you guys have jumped on board. You're going to be seeing more cool stuff, okay? Stay tuned for now. Peace out.